Hello, we're here at the 2012 Engineering Design Expo with Team Rear Motion and their snowmobile rear drive system. So here to tell us a little bit about our team is <laughs> here to tell us a little bit about our project is team member Jeremy Nichols. And can you tell us a little bit about your team and about this project? All right, so I'm Jeremy Nichols. Uh, there was two other team members on this team. It was Chris Hill and Neil Miller. And we designed a rear drive system that would be able to be a bolt-in design for a stock snowmobile. And uh, to do this, typically the rear drivers that are located on the rear there are on the front of the drive shaft here. And with that, when you drive, you send this slack side of your track through the bottom of the skid. And that doesn't make too much, you know, a lot of sense. So when we moved it to the rear, you actually send your tension side of the track into the, you know, on your drive surface of the skid. So you, with that, you gain performance, your handling performance, and fuel efficiency. So this project is part of a broader program at the University of Idaho, the Clean Snowmobile Competition. Can you tell me a little bit about that overall competition and how this is going to play a part in it? So the Clean Snowmobile Competition is, uh, is to re-engineer a snowmobile to be clean, quiet, and more fuel efficient. And to integrate this rear drive system would help to with the efficiency side of the snowmobiles competition and like I said before with the rear drive we we gain fuel efficiency over the stock system. So which majors were involved in this project and who who did you work with beyond students? Who are your advisors and who are your sponsors? So all the team members on this team were mechanical engineers. Um, our main advisor main sponsor was NIAT and Karen Dembraven was our advisor for the snowmobile team. And uh, I think that's, that's it. And what would you say was the biggest challenge of this project and what has been the most fun so far in getting to work on a project like this? I'd say the biggest challenge with this project was early on we had a few failures and getting back into the motivation of keeping this project alive. So, you know, we had to get in the machine shop and build more parts and actually get out and test it. And then, of course, the best part of doing it was testing it, you know, going out on the, on the weekday or the weekend, doing some homework and actually riding the snowmobile. It's really easy to see how a project like this would have real world applications, not only building something that you'll actually use, but working with the team and organizing a tremendous amount of schematics here. So. Has this translated into something that will be helpful in your career? And what, um, what kind of career opportunities are you and your team members looking at right now? Well, this would definitely help with the career, you know, with stuff in the career. Uh, it helped definitely with the decision-making processes with, you know, how, how do we go about designing this thing? You know, we went through built design matrices, matrices and... Uh, went through a bunch of different options and with that we were able to come out with the best design for our system and you know it seemed to work out well. So what advice would you give to a potential college student who's considering a career in engineering and considering coming to the University of Idaho? I would definitely tell them to get involved with school, pro school projects early. Uh, the Clean Snowmobile team is an awesome project. I joined my junior year, and I wish I would have joined my freshman year. It's been a lot of fun. You learn a lot of real-life engineering experience, and it's just a great team to be a part of. And why is the Clean Snowmobile program important, and what contribution is this going to have to the rest of the world? So the Clean Snowmobile competition is important because we're designing a snowmobile that would be able to run in national parks. And with that, right now, snowmobiles aren't necessarily designed for national parks. And so when the snowmobile companies can take what the college students have modified to their snowmobiles and apply it to their production line, 
so that you would be able to ride a snowmobile. That would be huge in the industry. Well, currently we are applying for a patent on this. We're filling out the paperwork and looking to see how far we can go in the industry with this product. Uh, I feel you know a lot of the industry professionals, Polaris, Skidoo, they would be interested in this design, especially for you know the trail light riding sleds and stuff. Uh, you know, it, it would be a great addition to their production line. All right. Well, thank you for taking the time to interview with us and to show us this amazing project. This is just one of the many amazing projects we're going to have the opportunity to see today at the Engineering Expo.